Hello and welcome to your 10th scripting tutorial. In this tutorial, it's it's sort of like an extension from the previous tutorial when I taught you about if statements. So, you know what if statements are now, you know how to make them, you know what they do, and you know how to use them. They are, you know, they are very easy to do. So, this tutorial is going to be like an extension to if, if statements then. So, first let me create a variable, uh, let's call it my variable equals 5 okay now let's create an if statement comparing my variable uh, if my variable equals 4 then actually no let me, let me do 1 I like 1 better um, okay and let's change this to 1 as well and then let's print it equals 1 so now we've made an if statement saying if my variable equals 1 then we're going to print it equals 1 okay so we know what that's going to do it's obviously going to print it equals 1 so now let's go one more step advanced let's say what if it's equal to 2 well we know if it's equal to 2 it's not going to read this if statement it's just going to skip right past it but we want the script to do something we, want it, we don't want it to just do nothing we want it to do something so we're going to do this. We're going to use the else keyword. Else keyword. So it's just else. E L S E. Let me just zoom in for you. Um, okay. So E L S E. Else, and it should light up in blue. So what this does is, you stick it inside the if statement, in between your first bit of code and the end. So what this is going to do is, it's going to say, if my variable equals one, then print one. But if it's not equal to one, then we're going to do whatever's in here. So let's go ahead and say print it is not one. So what it's going to do is if my variable equals one, print one. It's not equal to one. It's equal to two. So it's going to print it is not one. Let's have a look and look at that. It is not one. Let's reset and go back into the script. Okay. So again, very easy to use. It's just else else word. Um, you just stick it inside the if statement and it's like a sort of default value default sort of setting if if this condition here is not true then we're going to do whatever is inside the else section of the if statement so um, yeah, let me teach you about conditions now so up here this is this is the, con the, the condition uh, this is what we're testing um, basically if this is equal to this then the condition itself will be true so whenever the condition is true we will do whatever is inside the if statement in between then and else here so we'll print it is equal to one but if the condition is false as in if it's if this variable here is equal to anything else but one then it will skip straight to the else bit and it will print this now you don't have to have this else bit on the if statement you can just if you don't want to have a default setting just it's fine just take away the else but if you do um, if you if you want the script to do something even if the variable is not equal to one then else is the good thing to have on the if statement okay so now we know how to use else what about else if this also lights up in blue and it's got the words else and it's got the word if in it which means it must be part of the if statement so let's let me show you how to use the else if section let's take else away now let's put instead of else we'll put else if now this is like saying if my variable here is not equal to one we want to test it again what if it's equal to two then now it isn't that confusing you just put it's it's still part of the same if statement except you're testing the same variable twice so we're testing it up here saying All right, is it equal to one no it's not equal to one is it equal to two yes it is equal to two so let's print it is two okay so now if we go ahead and press play you should say it is two instead of skipping straight past it I mean, even though we have tested it for 1, it's not equal to 1, we're not going to skip straight past the if statement. We're going to go to the else if section. We're going to say, okay, so it's not equal to 1, is it equal to 2? 
Yes, it is equal to 2, but what if it's equal to 3? Simple, just stick another else if in there. Else if my variable equals 3. Then, okay, so is it equal to 1? No, it's not equal to 1. Is it equal to 2? No, it's not equal to 2. Is it equal to 3? Yes, it is equal to 3. So let's print it is 3. And if you go ahead and click run on that, then it will print it is 3. And then we can have a default else saying print it is not 1, 2, or 3. Okay, so we've tested it three times before doing our default setting. So it's equal to 1, no, it's not equal to 1, 2, no, 3, let's change it to 4, no, it's not equal to 3 either. So it's not equal to any of these values here, so we're going to skip to the else section and print whatever is in the else section here. So we print it is not equal to 1, 2, or 3, because my variable here is equal to 4. Now, you can do the same thing using uh, greater than symbols, so let me create an example using greater than symbols. Um, if my variable is greater than 5 then uh, then print it is greater than 5 but if it's not greater than 5 say it is not greater than 5 so if we set my variable to 5 then what we're going to do is my variable is not greater than 5, it's equal to 5. In order for it to be greater than 5, it needs to be 6 or above. Or it can even be 5.1 and above. It can, let's set it to 5.1. Um, it should say it is greater than 5. Yeah, it's greater than 5. So, so yeah, any value bigger than 5, so 5.0001, that would be bigger than 5, it would print it's greater than 5. But if it's 5 itself, it will not be greater than 5, it will be equal to 5, therefore we'd print this. If we want to include 5, we'd have to put the equal sign next to the greater than sign and say, if my variable is greater than or equal to 5, then print it is greater than 5. And it is greater than 5 or equal to 5. That's what it is. It's greater than or equal to 5. In this case it's equal. Okay. So you can do the same with less than sign, or just less than itself, do whatever you want. But remember also, when using if statements, comparing, you need a double equals. That's, that's the main rule you've got to remember. Okay, so I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else that I need to show you about if statements. Uh, no, there's not. So, yeah, so th this is it about if statements. If, else if, and else. So, yeah, just try to remember all that. In the next tutorial, it is still going to be using if statements in the next tutorial, but I'm not going to be showing you how to do any more things like if, else, if, and else. It's going to be something different. So, I'll see you in the next tutorial, and remember to keep practicing, keep experimenting, do use if statements everywhere. Um, so yeah, keep experimenting with it, and that's the only way you'll get better, by constantly practicing how to use if statements and everything else that I've taught you. Okay, so I'll see you in the next tutorial then. Bye.